I discovered a secret while studying Nikola Tesla this month. The same secret that led to over 700 patents worldwide. Let's find out what they are. Some people out there, including myself, believe in a sixth sense. Have you ever walked across a crowded room and felt eyes right on you? Even though you weren't looking there, you can feel the eyes on you. It's that eerie feeling that we all recognize. That's our sixth sense. It awakens our senses and the hairs on the back of our neck are filled with electricity. Our intuition is a level of awareness that connects us to the external world. We can directly perceive the world internally and there is great truth in that. We can make amazing discoveries by using that sense. Some of us like to think of it as a gut feeling or an instinct. All accurate. Using our internal senses is one of the most powerful things you could ever do. In high pressure situations, our intuition is our lifesaver. And when forced with a deadline, it's our biggest ally. When there is no time to waste and the best decision needs to present itself. How cool is that? Usually our negative thoughts talk us out of trusting our intuition. And then we think to ourselves, wow, I shouldn't have doubted myself. When hindsight is 2020, you always believe that you should have went with your gut, with your instinct, with your intuition. To get the best use out of our intuition, we have to have high confidence in our abilities, which is why it's so important to be creative so you can spend time with your imagination and gain that confidence. Even Forbes admits that intuition is the highest form of intelligence. We must take action to activate our intuition. I mean, we can't just watch TV all day and binge watch Game of Thrones and wait for our intuition to kick in. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. <laughs> when we dive into our passions, our intuition directs our focus. I'll leave a link to the Forbes article in the description below. People with high confidence tend to have a strong relationship with their intuition. People like Albert Einstein, Steve Jobs, and of course, the maestro of the month, Nikola Tesla. Tesla believed in himself completely. He trusted his instincts. When we combine our intuition and our imagination, the only force that can stop us is ourselves. As creative maestros, we understand how stimulating using our imagination can be. Playing with our creativity, our intuition helps navigate our imagination and come up with the best course of action. So when Tesla was using his imagination to build his inventions, his intuition helped him choose what to do and also avoided potential problems before he even started bringing his idea to life. Regarding our intuition, Tesla brilliantly said this. Instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have undoubtedly certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction or any other willful effort of the brain is futile. Synchronicity is a result of our intuition. When we experience moments that make us aware of everything, the person in front of us at the coffee shop talking about a topic that we never think about, but somehow, some way, Having that knowledge help you later in the day or later in the week, even later in the year. Tesla described our intuition as a response to the energy, frequency, and vibration all around us. We have a lot of distractions in the world. Our intuition is essentially a program in our brain able to process all the information we receive from all senses. At the same time, 
That's right. That's how powerful your brain is. Your intuition only gives facts. Hashtag facts only. Really, Josh? A hashtag in a YouTube video? Well, it was important. What do you want me to say? Hashtag remember this. Hashtag write it down. Your intuition gives you complete honesty. If it sounds like I'm describing your best friend, there's a reason for that. Our intuition is always there. And when you tap into your energy, frequency, and vibration, you become more aware of it. Look what Tesla was able to accomplish using his intuition and his imagination. Don't forget passion. All those things are a part of our creative essence. The reason there is so much mystery around Tesla in the science world is because he openly used his mind, intuition, his creativity, his imagination, instead of relying on the knowledge established by others. He used both. He was a scientist and he was also the artist. He was a scientific artist. How often do we just listen to others without doing our own experiments? instead of using our imagination and coming up with our own conclusions, like a scientist, but research the things that matter the most to you so you can play with it and be an artist, the scientific artist. Pleasure to meet the real you. Can you see how powerful that is? Learn to trust that part of you. It rarely steers you wrong. Usually the only wrong associated with it is when you don't listen to it. You know much more than you give yourself credit for. You definitely know more than people give you credit for. But not all people, but don't worry, they'll come around. I know for a fact, you're a creative maestro. And yet, even I know I'm not giving you enough credit. But this belief must come from yourself. You have to trust your intuition. Just start today, right now, wherever you are watching this. Just like when we come across a fork in the road, our intuition encourages us to go straight. Yet our doubts and fears make us think we have to go to the left or the right. For the rest of the day, try listening to your intuition just a little bit more. You deserve it. You will simply be amazed how much your day improves. Things just happen to work out when you listen to yourself. In those situations that bring out your intuition, those are the moments when to trust it. You won't regret it. Build a stronger connection to your intuition. Just like Nikola Tesla. Imagine what you could do if you thought like Tesla for a month. That is a ton of ideas and great ideas you can take action on right now. We have a habit of overthinking things myself included. I am a classic overthinker, but when I listen to my intuition, everything is so much clearer. So instead of overthinking, use your spidey senses or let the force guide you, if you will. By all means, you should still think things through. But when you get that powerful feeling of intuition, usually there is a reason behind it. Simply trust it to find out that reason. Your intuition can enhance all of your senses. For example, don't you think it's interesting that our only blind spot is directly behind us? I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Using your intuition with your sight you can see directly behind you. You can sense it, you can feel it. And here is our maestro tip. Imagine what your intuition can do with all of your senses, not just your eyes. Pretty cool, right? Develop your own superpower, just like Nikola Tesla. And I'm curious, when's the last time that you trusted your intuition and it blew your mind? I get that all the time. Synchronicity is awesome. Make sure you share this video with other creative maestros who don't listen to their intuition. They're really missing out. We have to help them. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. It really does help the channel grow. So thanks from one creative maestro to another. Keep creating and remember to 
press play on your imagination. Thanks for watching. Ciao.